Venom started out as Spider-Man's power-enhancing black supersuit obtained during the Secret Wars, and later turned out to be an evil alien entity with a mind of its own, which is generally not something you want from your clothing. Anyways, the suit bonded with an angry journalist named Eddie Brock and became Venom, who set about trying to kill Spider-Man in all sorts of delightful ways. So Spider-Man had to find a weakness in his morphed alter ego. And this is when things got weird in the mighty Marvel bullpen. Venom's big weakness was fire. And not like a huge flamethrower or an out-of-control bonfire, no, that would make sense. In the comics, Venom can't even handle a lighter. Marvel said it's because Venom is extremely vulnerable to heat and loud noises. You know, like a standard baby. And he's not simply averse to fire. In that comic when Spider-Man whips out a Zippo, Venom's alien clothes just jump off his body to get away from the flame. The entirety of Venom's superpowers are his costume. So. Like, what happens if he walks by someone smoking a cigarette, or a bunch of kids with sparklers, or like an electric blanket, or a loud tambourine? He goes from being Spider-Man's greatest foe to some naked guy in his 40s. Tough break, Venom. Tough break. Hey, thanks for watching that video. If you want to subscribe, please hit the big C in the middle. If you want to watch another video, please click one of the links on the right. And if you want to get notifications from YouTube every time you have a new video, click the little bell icon, and they will send you a notification every time you put up a new one.